The last couple of days have been quite interesting. Some rivalries have been created, obviously. Hey, Jack. Where is the Jack? Oh, he's taking photos. Jack tried to juggle with this. And You're it all trying to juggle this. You think I'm gonna drop it? I'm not gonna drop it. Yo, yo! <laughs> We've just become kind of a close-knit family. It's surprising like how close you can get to people and like even, it was not even that many days, like three days, four days, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of adrenaline going on. We're so excited, but at the same time nervous because we know eliminations are very, very, very close. Uh, how would you motivate Toast? Like this. Oh! <laughs> I think I got a message. Sometimes uh, it's flat, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's plugged in, sometimes it's not. Flip it open and you may be in for a surprise. Whoa, what a great hit. Laptop? Flip-flop? Laptop. Where? Where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good morning everyone, hope you all got some rest because you're going to need it for your second challenge. Otherwise your chances at that $10,000 prize may vanish before your very eyes. So get dressed and meet me as quickly as you can at Klena Knox Review. Did I, did I say that right? Nail it? What's that? that? This is not German. This doesn't sound right. <laughs> uh, did an horrible job at pronouncing the, the German thing we went. Okay, yeah, really? going, right? Yeah, well, yeah, it is. What? I don't know, like, what? Glenn, I don't... Want some falafel? <laughs> so, maybe it's a magic challenge? I would love that, I love magic myself. We knew by what Avli said, we were going to go more or less to a kind of theater thing. But, I mean, man, that can mean a lot of things. I mean, he got right the last game. He said, maybe we were going curling. <laughs> and we, did, we weren't going curling, so I don't know. I, I mean, vanish before your eyes, could be something blindfolded. It's out of theater, so maybe it's a performance of some sort that we have to do. Start, oh, then what if it is an escape room? Oh, that would be oh, true. Maybe, oh, yeah. maybe it's an escape room. I actually did walk past um, the burlesque place. I was like, rang a bell with me in my head that we were actually going in there and I knew exactly where it was. I know the place, dude. What, what, what is it? it? It's a burlesque place. It's a burlesque theater. Yeah. So they have like oh, I'm a rock. Yeah, like a pool, so you get lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, hello everyone, welcome, welcome, let me introduce myself for real quick, my name is David Millard, I'm a professional magician and mentalist for quite some time now, and today I want to show you guys a skill that will be pretty, pretty good for you also as a gamer, and um, I cannot do this on my own, I need someone because I want to read your mind, ah. then you, you want to join me? Okay, perfect, come on stage, what's your name? Katie. Give Katie applause, ah, very good. Very nice, Katie. Look at the paper, you yes. see? Look. Oh! And there's a, my calculator, okay? Oh Katie, you've been great. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. <laughs> Give a round of applause, guys. Give a round of applause. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone, and welcome to your second challenge, Mystic and Mages. Now, as you all know, in TFT, mages are pretty powerful. So today, we'll be asking you to channel your own inner mage. Today's challenge will be to perform a magic trick that you will pick from our carousel over here. Some will be easy, some will be a little bit harder. Now, once you've mastered your trick, you're going to have to perform it in front of a jury with the goal to impress and entertain. Now, uh, the contestant who does so will win, but bad news because the contestant who doesn't will be eliminated. You can feel the pressure coming when someone says that word. That definitely got everyone's uh, adrenaline running a little bit, um, pumped us up a bit and definitely made me uh, much more committed to uh, the challenge uh, for sure. Jack is the winner of the last challenge. Yeah. You get to choose first. So why don't you come on up? All right. <laughs> 
And then uh, one more question. Who picked Mage as their class? Tova? More good news for you. You are going to get five minutes of one-on-one -on -one time with David to help you with your trick. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, one more thing, guys. As you can see, we have a rack of costumes and props over here. You guys will be able to pick and choose from it to help you with your act. Now, who chose the Mystics class? There you go. Then the good news for you is that you get first dibs. So go on awesome. up there and get there. All right, sparkly sequined dress for Katie. So for everyone else, you have one minute to choose a costume, go. All right, does everyone have their costumes and props ready? Yeah. All right, then I'm gonna release you to go practice your magic tricks. So get ready, get magical, and go. Perfect, it's good. Mm -hmm. This would be kind of the performance, okay? Both hands. Above here. Yeah. Clap. Da 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 Yeah, it's for you to count. Uh. That wasn't me. <laughs> I can't wait for magic. <laughs> yes. to the first ever Making the Squad magic show. You guys ready to see some magic? Well, lucky for you, our contestants have been practicing super hard all day just to perform some tricks for you. But unfortunately, at the end of the day, one of them is going to be sent home. It's a tough world out there, but let's go ahead and meet the jury who are going to be deciding their fate tonight. We have Jordan from Nice Cactus. G2's very own TFT superstar, Lothar. Gracing us with his presence, Carlos. And world-renowned magician, David Miller. So starting with our first act, Pentamagic performing the iron trick. Can you trust someone wearing this? The correct answer is no. You cannot trust me, I'm a magician. The first card is this card, right? We have this card. So your job is to follow that card. Just like the balls in the cups, I could put it at the bottom, I could put it in the middle, or I could put it on the top. Just remember, you can't trust me. So first, we're gonna put it on the bottom. So where would that card be? Obviously, Harder. you'd think it would be on the bottom, but no, that's this card. Maybe that card's on the top, but no, that's also this card. So. If this card's on the bottom, and this card's on the top, then it must be in the middle. But, uh, no, this card's actually also in the middle. <laughs> you're thinking, okay, okay, you're just swapping other cards, you have this card, that card, whatever, but I'm gonna give you a little life lesson. First, you can't trust the magician. Second, sometimes in life, you get a little bit of this, you get a little bit of that. Not so much of the other. <laughs> For trick, we've got Jack. I did a lot of stuff and things around it. And what we're gonna do now is we just put a little, a little of this, maybe take some, some light as well, and uh, take something here, here, put it all in there. We put it all in there, and when we, when we take light, pork it, and uh, what do we get? We get, we get red. We get red. That's that's how science works. So we just get it. Take this one. We get a pull, pull, and it's insane. We got our special tissue. We actually we hate red tissues. They are dangerous and we yeah, are dangerous because red is dangerous. And we just take it and put it in here again. But but you have to be careful because sometimes. It's a little bit stuck, you have to like blow a bit and then you get put it in there like this and then it's gone. And the hands are 
You see, like hands, hands are, the hands are empty. But I have something special prepared for you because that was the easy part. And now we're doing the hard part because now like nothing here, nothing here, nothing over here. We're just gonna take it. And where did the tissue went? It's where? in here. Kind of weird because like there's there's a banana in there as well. <laughs> is, is, is anybody hungry? Trick was so fun and he even allowed me to keep like the fingers. Oh, don't tell the trick. Thank you very much. What an act! Our next act should be a golden because we have Katie performing the gold trick. Now for the next trick, I will have to have a volunteer from the audience. Is anyone willing to do that? So you're just gonna have to go and pull that string down. Are we done? Yep. Oh! Awesome job! That shows that you have the aptitude to become a mage. Awesome job! <laughs> Let's get on to our next act. Performing the Platinum Act, we have Nabori. The trick was pretty difficult. Broke a whole bunch of glasses trying to prepare for it, which was nerve wracking in itself. But we managed to pull it off and uh, just made some magic happen. Oh. 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 What is this? jump into our next act, the Diamond Act with Tasha. So, my name is Mad Hatter. Oh, I wonder what kind of trick I could be doing today. <laughs> Maybe it's a hat trick? <laughs> what can you find out of a hat, Jack? Uh, you can find bananas. Yes, bananas! <laughs> when going into this challenge, I did not feel safe at all. about you guys, but I thought that performance was a little long. <laughs> I'll be here all night. All right, our next performance is Tova with the master's trick. Thank you. So, there's nothing here. Oh, no. You think that you need to do, yeah, it takes a lot of skill, but the performance is what counts the most. It's what I try to put the most effort on because my magic trick lasted like very little time, you only like show the bottle and. Thirsty! All right, it's that time of the night. We've reached our final act. And I need to preface this by saying that this is our challenger trick. It is the hardest trick that anyone here has tried to perform here today. So without further ado, welcome Daisy to the stage. Who likes money? You like money, right? I want to buy myself a Nintendo Switch. But I only got 50 euros for it. Is that enough? No. no. Do, do you know why number four is very important? No. Anybody? No, okay. It makes you more money. Oh, yeah, Really easy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, right? We have the 50 euro. I'm gonna let you expect it just to be sure first. You would like, to, I would like it back. A lot of people were actually like uh, focusing on their, like their performance and what they're gonna say and everything. I was so actually busy with the trick because it was mechanically pretty hard. We're gonna fold it four times, okay? This is gonna be one, right? Yes. Wanna count? One. 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 Okay. This is gonna be two. 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 Okay. And now, three. this is gonna be three, right? And what is number four? Number four. 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 And we squeezed it real hard, right? Why? Because... What happened? Something different? Something a bit different here? 
just a second. My hands are shaking because I can see 100 something, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. It's time for our first elimination round here on Making the Squad. After this challenge, everyone did such a great job, but Jury, have you found a winner? Yes, so actually, thank you to all of you. So I, I didn't think that this was possible for you in this, hour, in this hour of learning, but you did a great job and it was amazing. I felt entertained by all of you, um, but suddenly we have to, to choose a winner. And um, yeah, we decided to give the first prize to Josh. Josh, congratulations. How does it feel to win? Feels so good. Honestly, everyone's performances was so good. And so I was really worried. <laughs> it, was like, it was amazing. So I'm honored. Thank you very much. And it's a big relief. <laughs> Who is safe? Andrea. <laughs> and Justin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Josh, what I forgot to mention to you was as the winner, you will be receiving an advantage moving on into the next round. I like that, I like that. All right, Lothar, looking to you next. Can you tell us who else is safe? The two people that can stop holding their breath will be Jack and Tasha. So unfortunately, Daisy, Katie, it means that you two are both up for elimination. So just coming to you first, Daisy, why do you think you deserve to stay? Uh, I think I have a lot to offer. Yeah, it's still early in competition. I would like to get more chances, but what happens, happens, right? It's just a game, so I'm super glad to be here anyways. Katie, same question to you. Why do you deserve to be here? I deserve to be here because I bring an energy to this crowd that invigorates everyone around me, and I want to continue sharing that with everyone. Best of luck to you both. As I move back to the jury, Carlos, who here is safe tonight? The, the, the jury uh, together took the decision jointly um, to uh, save Tani. Thank you. Katie, unfortunately, it means that you are our first person who was eliminated on making the squad. I'm so sorry. You could go ahead and say your final goodbyes to everyone. Steve, me, you could feel free to follow me on Twitter at Wondermello and Instagram at Wondermello underscore. I, I'm really frustrated, but I'm also really grateful for the opportunity to be on making the squad. So thank you so much for having me and I'll see you in the future. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be the one to go home. It was sad to really see her go because she was family. She had so much energy. He literally is the cutest human being on earth that I've ever met. She's so nice to all. She's like everything. She's, she's just light. Like she, when you see her, you see the light, you see energy, you see passion. that, we wrap up our first ever magic show here on Making the Squad. It's unfortunate that we had to say goodbye to one of our contestants, but the show must go on. We'll see you next time. Right now, I am admittedly disappointed. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm so happy because I'm not. But I understand that there's a lot that I could be using to grow from this experience, just like you can too. And this experience was so awesome of learning new things, meeting new people, getting new opportunities. And I'm just feeling grateful that I had a chance to come to here in Berlin at all to compete with G2. And everyone has been so amazing. I'm grateful for all of the amazing G2 staff, as well as the other contestants that I've met. I, at the end of the day, it felt like we are a family. I'm proud of how I presented myself. I'm proud of how I did with the challenges. I know I did my best, which is, it's really what you need to do. It feels like my career is started right here. Even if I'm going home, the journey goes on. I think the next contestant to be out, um, honestly, I. <laughs> I have no idea. Everyone here is so good. I don't know what they're looking for. I think 
anyone could be eliminated next. I can say that I'm actually really, really scared of uh, Andrea because she's kind of overpowered. I mean, like people love beautiful and funny and uh, and cute, and she's like all in this together. And so it's like she's probably like the biggest competition. Someone's what? knocking. Hello. Hi. Hi. I have a special delivery for you. Should we go dance? Yeah, let's go sit down. He's gonna keep it up in order to stay with the squad. I do want to emphasize how difficult it was for everyone to come to this decision. He was backstabbing me. Am I not competition enough? If you could save one person on your team. I'm emotionally tired. <laughs>